Hello guys, I'm Z Fluffin and welcome to another video. This is a tutorial video. Um I did not have this type of video whenever I was learning on how to create my own original stuff, especially for YouTube. Um so this tutorial, if you haven't guessed by the title, is making your own completely free original music that no one else no one else can find so and downloading it okay so uh let's get straight into it okay so first thing you need to go to the first link in the description which is for loop labs um which is the site i am at right now so this is so if you don't know what Loop Labs is, it's a place where you get to make your own music and share it with other people. I have my own Loop Labs account. If you don't, then just go up to join and then I think it'll ask you for email and possibly age, I'm not sure. Um, but you make the account and then you set your profile. Mine is of course my face. Um, so, and this is, this is how I made my intro music and my outro music. Um, uh, and yeah. Okay, so you go to studio, and you will need to download something by the end of this, uh, by the end of this thing. Now, Loop Labs, it works better on Chrome than it does on Firefox, at least that's what they told me. I don't, I haven't noticed any, uh, any differences so far. But, yeah, you see, we strongly suggest using Google Chrome. Okay, got it, whatever. Okay, let me start from scratch. And and if you don't, I think, delete your old music, I'm not sure. But it'll say, wowza, that was close. We found changes that were not successfully saved the last time you visited. Would you like to restore the data we discovered? Um, let's just say yes, please, so you can see the music that I lasted. This, I believe, is my outro music. Uh, let me play it real quick. get the idea um sorry if that was a little bit too loud and that might have scared you i don't know um but that's so how you can go through the tutorial in loop labs it's really easy to learn um you can go to this and then you go what type of stuff you want so let's say i want pop and synth because that's just what i like and then i click on that Now that sounds like a siren on its own, but if I drag it down here and you just mix them together and see what works. So that actually works. I'll, that actually works pretty well. Um, but yeah, you just you just do that. And now for the downloading your music part. Now Loop Labs allows you to share it with your, share your music with your friends. But it doesn't allow you to download your own music, um, which really stunk for me until I learned, because the way I am is that I, if something's not right, then I make my own way of making it right. Okay, so now my taskbar is kind of full, but you know, that doesn't matter. I, I like a full taskbar. Um, so what you need is something called Microsoft Expression Encoder. Go to the second link and um and go to the thing is is that i got expression encoder a while back i'm not sure if this link works i don't want like two copies on my computer it should work though um so you go and you download microsoft expression encoder 4 which is what i use to download the audio it can work as a screen recorder if you like a screen recorder the thing is and like I'm, I don't want like Microsoft suing me or anything. I probably they probably won't anyway. I don't know. I'm entitled to my own opinion. Okay, Microsoft, so just back off. Um, 
but it does not work well as a screen recorder. The frame rate bad, the audio is the best part of it, which is why I use it. And you just, you install it, bam, installer, I'm gonna just get that away, whatever. But you install that, you go through a whole install process, and you open it up. Okay, I messed up on my part, okay? Okay, no, you hit the recorder part, not the encoder part. Okay, so here's the recorder. Now, and by by doing the recorder, you hit that thing, well, you hit, you know, the one with the red circle, because it's recorder, obviously. Now, I, uh, in order for my, um, in order to record my audio, I click on the gear, and I go to audio, and I make it so it only records the speakers. Just the speakers. You hit OK, and then you go to the track that you want to record, you you hit that and it really doesn't matter the video because you're gonna, just gonna erase that later. Okay, you press OK, and this might be this might get loud. Okay, done, and then you hit send to encoder. It automatically selects it. Okay, so you didn't see because I cut it out, but I messed up. That's fine, okay. And now I have the free version, which is in Expression Encoder SP2, which is a unfinished version, apparently. Um, which is the version that should be there when you download it. I'm just going to make this full screen real quick. Okay, so here is here's the video, and if I play it, yeah. Um, now I'm going to watch the the uh, watch the the orange thing to make sure. Like like you see those little dots down there? I don't think they have waveforms on this, so you can't like get it down exactly where the audio starts. But look to see what tick it goes by. What little little uh, it looks like hairs actually. What little hair um the audio starts at. Okay, so it starts right after one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna go um, edit at playhead. Remember, always click on that in order to delete it. Remove clip. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. I'll just skip past that. Okay, so now we have our whole clip. And then at the end, done. It might not be perfect, but you can you can um. Uh, in your video editor, you can probably, like, fade out the audio later. Um, now, to get just the audio, go to output, well, first, output, go to directory, and then you need to select desktop right there. Hit OK, now it'll go to the desktop. Now click encode, and uncheck video J just leave the audio checked and then hit encode it'll do like depending on how long your music is mine was just like two seconds right there so it's fine so i'm just going to that do you want to save change to your job no okay now let's head over and over to the desktop i apologize for the mess so here is my desktop yeah sorry about that um as you can see up there the the as you can see right there right there the uh, green screen was a little bit of a rush job so I didn't get it perfect so here's the thing that just encoded okay so you open that there you go and there's this right here this is your audio settings don't worry about that drag the audio to the desktop delete the settings done then And that's how you get your own music. You can name it like my tutorial music. And you can put it in your music folder, whatever. You can overlay it on top of videos, all that fun stuff. It is now a music file. And that's how you make your 100% custom music. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, leave a like if you found this helpful. Subscribe if you like. 
the content and um, comment below what tutorial you think I should do on next like if you see something in mind that you're like that looks like it would improve my YouTube experience or experience overall then just this there is a gnat flying around me then just um yeah, say that in the comments. Uh, otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, cookies.